Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In a lot of my videos, people ask me how they can monitor their core clock speeds and in general their hardware in their PCs. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this. For the purposes of this video, we are going to be using HW or Hardware Monitor. Come down to this link right here and you will be able to download it. I will have this linked in the description. You want to click Download Setup. Click Download Now and I am going to save this to my desktop. Once this file finishes downloading, click here and click Run. Select where you want to install it yourself. You can also select to create a desktop icon, I choose to do so as I will be putting a shortcut for this onto my toolbar. You can also select to view the readme.txt but I do not need to do so right now. Once the program installs, we can delete its installation exe as we no longer need it. As I previously said, I'm going to put this in my toolbar down here just for ease of access. I can delete this shortcut. Let's now open HW Monitor and see exactly what it can do. As you can see on screen, there is quite a lot of information displayed. We can see things such as voltage to your CPU, core temperatures, power being used by your CPU, CPU core utilization, CPU core clocks, HDD and SSD usage and temperatures, and you can also see things like your GPU usage, GPU frame buffer usage, bus interface usage, and memory utilization. If you are on a laptop, you can also see battery information right here. If I come to my advanced power options and change my power profile, as you can see when I switch from balanced to high performance, HW Monitor picks up on the change in core clock speeds on my CPU. This is what makes this tool invaluable to you. It can help you monitor both your CPU utilization, RAM utilization and power going to your CPU. This tool can also be very useful to people looking to overclock or indeed undervolt their CPUs as it gives you minimum, maximum and real-time figures to account for. When we load our shader cache using CMU emulator, we can see here that our CPU is only using one, perhaps two cores to load this shader cache, giving us insight into exactly how this emulator works. As always guys, cheers for checking out the video, I hope you found it useful. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want some guides showing you how to either overclock or undervolt either your CPU or your GPU. Remember to like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.